fun. All right, so we're going to talk about how to tile these. Let's just get our image uh, Photoshop ready in here. So you save four, six, however many you would like. And you can tell the only difference between them is the color, which I was able to change very quickly by double clicking on this uh, thumbnail here in the color fill layer and changing it. Okay. If you want to um, select something from your swatches, you can have your swatches open and use those. So I've got a couple. This is a different one, so let's see. One, two, three, and four. Now in order to put these together, we are going to save a copy as a JPEG. Because when we put them together on a new canvas, we don't want to make worry about like copying all of our layers. We just want to select that one flat layer. Um, we are not losing the layers that are in the original PSD. We are going to save a copy. So we will go to Photoshop. Oh, we don't need it to be called copy, copy. Perfect. Save. And then let's save it. Quality 12. Okay. Next one. File. Save as. JPEG. Save. Okay. File. Save as. JPEG. Save. Okay. And the last one. File. Save as. JPEG. So when you turn in your files, you can give me all of the originals, all the JPEGs, and the combo. Right, you can just throw everything in the folder. Don't worry about it. Um, and then this is the next thing we're going to do. We're going to locate all of our JPEGs, which should be perfect right up here. Now, in order to get these into a new file and have them all be the same size, it can be a little tricky. So we're going to do it the uh, easiest and most efficient way possible. All right. So in Photoshop, we're going to go File, New. And let's make it 8 by 8, resolution 200. And we're going to call this last name underscore EX3 <coughs> underscore combo. OK? and hit alright. Now, super simple. File, place, select the first one, place. It comes in gigantic and it comes in um, in a transformation, meaning you need to hit return to apply it. Don't resize it yet. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. So place all of them in, hit return. I think I actually Oh, I forgot to change the color on one. Okay, no worries. Well, you guys have to change the colors on all of yours. No exceptions. Wow, I, it looks like I didn't change the color. I'm ah, one of them I did. Okay, you get the idea. Hit return, file, place, select that fourth, and place, and return. So now you have different layers, okay? And what we are going to do is have auto select layer on. So check that when you have the move tool. We're going to select the top layer and then the bottom layer. In this case, the back, not the background, just all the, the uh, files we just brought in. Hold down the shift to select all of them. And then command T to go into edit transform. Hold down the shift, grab the corner. We're going to transform all of them at the same time. And you just get to where it looks like they'll be okay. Four up looks good. Then, when you're done, you can see that it has transformed all four layers so they're exactly the same size. And hit return. And now, click off. Select with auto layer, uh, auto select layer. You can just grab whatever's on top, move it up, move it over. And move it over. Now, do you see how they're kind of snapping? I really mm -hmm. like that because it tends to it looks really good. That is view <coughs> snap. Okay. So I'm gonna just move these over so there's no white, and then move it up a little bit, do a little bit of nudging. 
That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to grab the crop tool, make sure it's unconstrained, and then just crop. So if you don't get it exactly right, in this case I could fight with it a little more and I could resize them up, but I'm not going to I'm not going to fight with them. I'm just going to crop it. Perfect. And then just file save or command S, Katarina EX3 combo, save, and that's it. So you just need your original files, which you will change the color in, like I did here, and then you'll save each of these PSDs as a JPEG, make a new file, file new, and just 8x8 eight eight at 200 works pretty well. And then it's file place to get each of the layers in. Select all of them at the same time. Command T to get edit transform scale. And then hold on the shift to constrain proportions. And then just lock them into place however you choose. If you have six or eight or ten, just make a larger square. Okay? Or you can do a rectangle and you could go file new, maybe eight by maybe 10 width and 8 height. It's up to you. You can kind of experiment with that. All right? Sound easy?